PB's 2017 NAM show coverage is sponsored by Plugin Boutique, the place for music plugins. Hi, I'm Taiho Yamada at NAM 2017, and I'm super excited to be able to share with you my new synthesizer company, Mock, and our first product, Wave Razor. Now, Wave Razor is a futuristic virtual synth that uh, allows you to slice waveforms and recombine them into new and interesting aggressive sounds. Uh, there are three oscillators per voice and uh, three filters per voice that can be run in series or parallel. Uh, and there's a oscilloscope that can uh, show you uh, precisely what you're doing with the waveform. Uh, I'm going to play you a couple of examples. This waveform is a fairly complex 16-segment uh, waveform. You can choose the different segments independently and change things like phase and DC, um, pitch and volume, uh, and also select the waveform that's in the segment. Um, one of the, the new things that you can do when you're uh, dividing the waveform into fractions is each fraction gives you the opportunity to do hard sync. So I have a um, uh, hard sync set up on each segment in this patch and I'm going to spread apart the tuning of the different segments. That sounds like this. And then another weird thing that we're doing is uh, what we're calling mutant AM, uh, amplitude modulation. Now, ring mod is you know, basically amplitude modulation. It's one oscillator modulating the volume of the other oscillator. Now, we're doing, we can do that. We can you know, have different wave segments modulate on and off, but um, we're doing something I think is a little bit weirder and more interesting where um, the amplitude modulation is dependent on the content of each step. So if you're putting different waveforms in each, uh, each segment, you know, maybe the fundamental is there, or maybe it's not. Um, you know, maybe you have the fundamental and then it's gone, and then three more steps of fundamental and then none again. And uh, the same thing is true for each of the harmonics in that particular segment of the waveform. So they can be modulating on and off, or they might be just at different uh, uh, amplitude levels. And that results in this kind of ring modi sound, but it's thicker. It has a lot of uh, uh, interesting, weird sidebands happening. So I'm going to play that for you here. A lot of uh, timbral variation possible. We also have these um, XY performance controllers. On the right hand side, I've got it programmed for the filter. And on the left hand side, it's changing the waveform. Now, um, one of the interesting new parameters in WaveRaiser is uh, things that relate, uh, there are a lot of interesting new parameters, there are things that relate to the, the oscillator itself that are brand new. And one of them here is step size, it's, it's basically the multiplication of the size of the window of each step. So right now it's set to quarter, uh, a quarter of a cycle and you can multiply it out. All the way into wave sequencing territory and you can modulate it back. Every parameter in WaveRaiser is modulatable. Uh, 
Another thing is the duty cycle of each, um, each step. So depending on the content of each step, uh, you can select between two different sets of waveforms. And uh, that covers a lot of WaveRaiser. Let me show you a couple of different uh, patches. Here's one that's more uh, wave sequencing with three oscillators. Um, and another thing that you can do is um, detune each step from each other. And it gives you a sort of uh, like a super saw kind of sound, but it's um, slightly different. It also imparts a bit of uh, digital quality to the sound. Um, in most of these examples, I have uh, just a single oscillator going, but you still get a really thick kind of uh, interesting, hopefully a new sound uh, uh, being produced. Uh, Wave Razor is going to uh, be released on March 1st at an introductory sale price of $75. And um, we're going to do it in a couple of steps. We have another release coming probably a month after that gives you full editing functionality. Right now there's a lot of stuff that you can do inside of the GUI and you can save what you've done but it's not every parameter in WaveRaiser. WaveRaiser, uh, a single oscillator can have over 700 parameters if you fully maxed it out with all the segments. Um, so we're working on a user interface that allows you to get to all those parameters in you know, a fast and fun fashion. Um, when we release that version of WaveRaiser, it's going to be $150 US. Um, and anybody that has bought it at the introductory price gets the update for free. And uh, yeah, and I want to give a shout out to Traction. Uh, Traction's hosting us at, uh, at uh, this NAM 2017, we're part of a new uh, initiative called Traction Presents, where they uh, help promising startup companies uh, you know, do awesome stuff in the industry. We're going to be um, uh, we're going to be sold exclusively through the Traction Marketplace, and uh, it gives us um, some capabilities that we wouldn't have had otherwise. Some worldwide sales and distribution that is just phenomenal. We couldn't have done it without Traction. So uh, thanks very much to that gang, and thank you for checking us out at at NAM 2017.